I told you we were making the race course a fortress and we've got quite some home form. There is two very difficult games today. We face top of the league, Notts Forest and also Bournemouth in today's episode, both at home. Let's see if we can carry on getting them dubs. <laughs> What is going on there guys, Kempi here and welcome back to the Wrexham save. I hope you guys are all well, I've had a long, long couple of days just trying to fix the PC. The FM23 has an absolute nightmare, graphics all went to absolute bin. Uh, they were basically all trying to upload onto the OneDrive and I had to delete 300,000, sort it out, SI photos, about 100 at a time. So that was great fun, to go out an hour and a half at midnight last night, but we're here today and we are here to play FM23. Things are mostly fixed. I've still got the badges uh, to install for Premier League side. So both of today's opponents, Notts Forest and Bournemouth, do not have their official uh, badge. But everything else is there. We've even got a brand new face pack. We've used the DF11 face pack. Really, really clean, really nice. I'll make sure to pop a link to that down below so you guys can use that. Now, as you just saw, Form-wise, at home, we have been absolutely lights out. If I can get back to there, win, 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 win. We look fantastic, and the form does not show any shine of stopping at home. Away form, if we look at Notts Forest, they are joint third, and Bournemouth, I believe, are quite far down. They are down 18th. I say that, we've only got one more win compared to them, but we do look very good. And, um, yeah, I really hope today we can have some good performances against two top top sides we are currently 11th in the form forest are top and i tell you what they've got quite some team village boash as manager i mean an unbelievable manager in my opinion uh, key player emmanuel dennis vice captain connor cody captain pablo rosario unbelievable player on foot manager go get him if you haven't used him uh, before i've done a knee save he's very very good um leander then donkers in the team it's how well and yimi is still in the team as well um and they've also got unreal players on the bench like fabio carvalho what's he doing down the championship i mean he has not taken off as people might have expected maybe he's someone we could pick up in the future uh, but yeah a very difficult game to kick things off but luckily we are at the race course and it's drizzly as well we like a wet drizzly race course <laughs> that should be good fun um, how the rest of the games are gone we are sitting seventh in the actual uh, league table uh, obviously last time you guys were here was the cardiff ipswich double header in which we won both games um since then away form has been a real real struggle away to bristol city we lost one nil away to middlesbrough who were down 20 for the league will andy up and played this game because zach away was absolutely finished fitness wise and it got sent off in 14 minutes and ruined our whole game ended up losing 2-0 there uh, get back to the race course another welsh derby against swansea this time and sebastian neves scored the winner in this game i'm gonna have to show you the goal because you know how much i love this guy and this goal proves exactly why it was a ball well won back in the middle by the new man shahor ball over the top and sebastian neves on that right foot volleying it in to the top corner. A great goal, I'm sure you would agree. Now today, Notts Forest, let's get into it and hope we can pick up six points today. That would be rather impressive. The team we are playing today, I think, is our strongest team. It's Angus Gunn in goal, Ferguson at right back, uh, Williams, Awe and O'Malley as the other back four. Uh, okay, your Yosglu at CDM, uh, Joe Bellingham and David Gonzalez in midfield, Sebastian Neves at the right wing, Dylan Stevenson as the left and E.K. Ugbo up top. The Forest team managed by, like I said, Andre villash boash We've got Sam Johnson in goal, uh, Jick Steele, Leander Dendonka, Connor Cody, Matthias Vina, Flynn Downs, uh, Julius Poncao, Pablo Rosario, Emmanuel Dennis, Omar Mamouche and... Flavio up top. Fabio Carvalho only makes the bench. So does Calvin Ramsey, Taiwo Anui, uh, Arthur Kawonkwo. There is some very, very good players in this Forest side. And I am nervous that today is going to be a rather difficult game. But the home form, the fans, the crowd, they all help when we play here at the race course. And I hope the same can happen today. Now, let's get into this one and hopefully get three points. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on OBS because I'm worried it's going to crash on me because all the issues we've had, um, another one in the intro when I was showing the goal, managed to die as well. So hopefully it doesn't do it again. Sebastian Neves trying to get another goal like I showed you at the start there, the header just wide of the mark. We are going to start today as well with a cautious approach. 
Forest, a very good side, top of the league. I mean, you have to be a little bit wary of what they can do. They are also playing the 4-4-3 with the centre defensive midfielder. Um, so they're not going for it and, you know, using a cam. They are sitting back in a 4-3-3, which is quite interesting. It seems the teams who play against the top of the league are all seem to play this formation. So I think we are set up correctly. What a setup that was from Dylan Stevenson. Ike Ugbo should have really done better with that one, making it 1-0. Would have been ideal there, 25 minutes in. An early lead would have been fantastic against the league leaders. But firing just over the bar. Stevenson having a very good game out there. And he's been really good for us all season as Stevenson. Tell you what, there's a hell of a lot of shots going on in this game. They've had eight already. We've had seven. Um, and we're only sort of half hour in. Poor touch there from Neves. And Mamouche is going to take this down the left-hand side. Ferguson doing well defensively to hold him off. Matthias Vina, a very good attacking wing-back. But Ferguson deals with him very well. And now Sebastian Neves has a chance to play Flavio through on goal. And put Forrest 1-0 up. Apparently, that was the Sebastian Neves, what he wanted to do. I have no idea why he did this. But he, he does a little swivel 30 yards out. Tries to play it back to the keeper. And... Flavio is just more alert and Gunn doesn't make the save. I mean, there's only one man to blame for that and it's Sebastian Neves and we are 1-0 down and not what I was expecting to see when Sebastian Neves picked up the ball there 30 yards out. I'm going to say we've not been good enough and he is going to be coming off if he doesn't impress in this first five minutes. Need to see something from him in this highlight otherwise Darren O'Hanlon is going to come on and maybe he should be starting a few more games. Great ball there to Dylan Stevenson down this left-hand side. Cuts in lovely Hits the post. That was fantastic there from Dylan Stevenson. But a great save in the end. Hitting the post and it bounced back to the keeper. More alert than Ugbo. And managing to keep the ball out. We have got another highlight here. It's a free kick. And we know this man can hit him. Okay, Yoksulu. Get it up and down around the wall. He does, but it just hits the side netting. And we're going to make that change now. Darren O'Hanlon on this right-hand side. I mean, I think you guys will agree. An absolutely fantastic sub to be able to bring on. And we'll also bring on Mr. Theo Zidane for David Gonzalez and see if he can have a bit of an impact on this second half. Dylan Stevenson, again, winning the ball back, but losing it while trying to cut inside. But he has been very impressive as that pressing. Uh, Zach Howe winning the header. O'Malley. Almost winning that one, but it is going to be Jick Steele down this right-hand side. O'Malley intercepts again, and hopefully we can build out. We're trying to score more on goals, apparently, is what we're trying to do. Uh, but Stevenson picks up on this left-hand side, plays through E.K. Ugbo, and he has to finish that chance. Someone worth 15 to 20 million down in the championship has to put that away. I'm disappointed he's managed to not. Um, not great there from Mr. Um, Ugbo. I was expecting a goal there, and maybe it's time... To get Paul Mann in back on the screen and back with your guys' faces. Let's get him on and see if he can get us uh, a goal. And we'll get Mahir Sharur on as well in that deep line playmaker role. Really a very good understudy to OK Yuxalu. Uh, and I'm sure maybe the end of the season they might start swapping out for each other and it'll go the other way around where Yuxalu will come on. Theo's a down with a corner. Reese Williams, we can always trust that lovely big meaty head of his to get us a goal. And he gets us a goal indeed and keeps. The unbeaten streak alive so far at the race course. 1-1, 77 minutes in. A great ball from Theo Zidane. And no one can stop the big man himself, Reese Williams, scoring there. It's 1-1. I'm going to go positive for the last 10 minutes. I'm going to encourage the boys as well. We have been the team on top here against top of the league. In fact, we're going to go attacking because we are firing shots at him. Um, and I would quite like to get a win here today. That would be quite a marker and a statement to the league. If we can beat top of the table, Notts Forest... We could show we're a real, real threat for playoffs this year. Two minutes to go. It looks like the game is going to fizzle out. And it has, but a very impressive result nonetheless. A poor mistake from Sebastian Ebers giving them an early goal. But Reese Williams, of course, doing very well to get us back on level terms. Not a bad result by any stretch of the nation, imagination. Bournemouth are up next. Uh, they have just won 4-0 against Reading away from home. So they have picked up their away from home form. They are sitting in eighth. We are sitting in ninth, but I tell you what, the playoffs are close here in the championship. Well, a nicely timed two-week break for the boys to rest and recover from back-to-back -back draws against Burnley and Nottingham Forest. I mean, we have managed to get two friendlies in against the under-18s, which we won 9-1, and a affiliate club in Prestantin, which we won 5-0. Today, we take on Bournemouth. Jack McKenzie is also back from injury which is very good to see and there's only two people we're going to miss out today that's Theo Sedan has got a slight knock so he's going to sit 
on the bench. And Ike Ugbo has come back from uh, Canada duty, rather tired. So Sebastian Neves is going to get the nod up today up front with Darren O'Hanlon getting that start on right wing. Uh, Paul Mullen and Ohan Ozcan are both on the bench. So if either of the wingers are not making a difference, there is two strikers who I'm sure would love to get on today. Uh, ready to pounce and be start of that lineup. Jack McKenzie, like I said, back into the starting lineup, back from his injury, which means Owen O'Malley can move over to his favoured right hand side. And we can now officially say we've got our strongest back five back together and back fully fighting fit. Wayne Rooney in charge of Bournemouth, one of my favourite players of all time. A good side here, Ross Barkley and Ryan Christie, uh, Mohamed El Nenny, a very experienced midfield in 2026, certainly. Um, Jack Stacey at the club, uh, Omlin in goal, Lloyd Kelly at the club as well, uh, Omar Bamadele at the back. So a very strong Bournemouth side. They are sitting in eighth, just the one place above us. I believe we're actually level uh, on points. I'll have to have a quick check of that as we go into the game. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a good game. Of course, we're still at the mighty, mighty race course. A game that I would like to keep the unbeaten streak and potentially get back to winning ways at the race course. They are playing the 4-2-3-1 system. So hopefully we can minimalize the CDM in this game. And hopefully the two sediments we have got can go ahead and do some damage. They are one point above us and one place above us. So... Room to make up, ground to make up, but certainly where we are is good. We did not expect to be fighting for playoffs this year. Expected to be a mid-table slash relegation side. And here we are, just outside the playoffs. You can't stop that. <laughs> Joaquin from... I, I assume it's not the Joaquin, because he'd probably be 45 years old by now. But whatever Joaquin this is, has got an absolute perler of a finish on him. Great ball from El Nenny. It's left foot from 25, 30 yards. Doesn't really matter who's in goal because that is always going to end up in the back of the net. And that is quite some finish. And it's 1-0 to Bournemouth just five minutes in. Something we're not used to here at the race course going a goal down. So hopefully we don't crumble. Hopefully we can actually get back on top and get a nice goal in a quick response. Only three minutes after their goal. Stevenson with a ball in. Sebastian Neves with a chance in the six-yard box heading it just over the bar. You can see both their CDMs having great goals. Obviously, one with an assist. Uh, great game, sorry. One with an assist, one with a goal. Hopefully, ours, okay, Uxalu, can still have a good impact in this game. And Job and um, da David Gonzalez can also have impacts against their midfielders. So, Hanlon with a ball in. Neves not quite getting on the end of it. Stevenson finding David Gonzalez. And the impact we were talking about, he has just had his first ever goal for Wrexham. I imagine it's his first goal in adult football as well. David Gonzalez from Real Madrid, that is. So quite some player indeed. You can see a great ball in that left foot. First time, absolute perler into the top corner. And it goes to 1-1. One, one. Just 15 minutes to get in. A game that is clearly going to be won for the neutrals. Five shots to each as well, 23 minutes in. I'm going to drop back to positive rather than going too attacking. Now we have got that goal back. We can now just settle into our style of play and hopefully just look to dominate this game from here. Heat map wise, we are definitely the team on the back foot. You would sort of expect that given they've got a cam and a striker. They are going to be the more progressive and aggressive team going forward. Um, but it looks like we are actually holding our own and a very good end to the first half there in 10 shots in the end. Maybe not the best of shots, but we are doing well getting shots away. And if we can keep testing uh, Omlin <clears throat> in goal, I'm sure the goals will come. O'Malley with the throw in. Final, okay, Yuxalu, a ball in the box, but is well headed clear. And Jack McKenzie down this left-hand side. Great ball in. Darren Hannon winning the second header. Neves... Great header and a great save. And then the rebound is just too tight of an angle to sneak into the back of the net. But I tell you, we definitely look at the team that are going to score a goal if anyone is. Q foot manager to absolutely ruin my day. It is a Bournemouth down the left-hand side. A switch to Jack Stacey. An unbelievable ball through into Mariano. And the commentator's curse has reigned again. Is that the Mariano? The Real Madrid Mariano? He's a target forward. It is certainly the Real Madrid Mariano, um, yeah, fair enough. Quite a good player, uh, especially for the championship and not even a team in the playoffs. Uh, Christy with a ball in. Mariano going close. Again, he has woken up and he is ready to try and score some goals. Neves has had the best of games through the middle. So we're going to get on Erhan Ozcan today rather than Paul Mullin. Um, slightly better in terms of match sharpness. We're also going to bring on Mahir Shashur as well as the CDM for OK Yuxulu. And maybe we can come back with a goal. We're going to go attacking again. Like I said, we have been the team on top in this game. 
from the way the XG is looking and the way the shots and possessions looking, you'd expect us to be the team in the lead, but we are not, um, which is a bit of a shame. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a few medium adjustments. Um, we'll do that. We'll do Mezala on attack. Change him and him around. Bellingham in cam and bring on Theo Zidane in cam and see if he can have an impact off the bench. The injury is only a minor one. Um, I think it was a head gash from what I remember. So he has got protective gear on. So he should be all right. We're going to change him up into a 4-2-3-1 and try and give him a taste of their own medicine. Um, five minutes to go. I'm actually going to just shorten down the passing. Get it into space and get it over the defence. We've got a very, very quick young man up front who would love to get him behind. So let's try and feed him and see if we can get some goals. It looks like they've switched into a very defensive system. And we have been out-tactic and outclassed here by Wayne Rooney and Bournemouth. Our first loss at the race course this season, I think, which is a bit disappointing. A very good side, obviously. A very good manager in the big Waz dog. Um, Jack McKenzie with a great return to fitness and a great return into the game. We are now sitting in 11th place, still just three points outside of the playoffs. So it is by no means a foregone conclusion. Um, I have got a bit of time today to play some foot manager, which is exciting and good for me. Um, so I'm going to get ahead and play a rather a lot of games. And I'm looking to try and get to where the FA Cup will be on the 9th of uh, January. So we've got quite a few games to go through. If there's anything that looks like we're either going to push the playoffs, and if we actually get into the playoffs, I'll bring you guys back. If it looks like we're going to lose every single game and go on a shocking run of form, I'll also bring you guys back. But other than that, we will see you guys back in January, uh, where it's going to be a very fun season. We've got a lot of games to play between there and now, but I think you guys would agree we need to progress a little bit just in this season. With the issues we've had recently, it'll be good to just fire through a few games. Thank you guys for all your support recently. The videos on uh, Season 5, the views, sorry, on Season 5 has been absolutely crazy. Uh, massive thank you to Daryl uh, Puggle Designs for his help in the thumbnails as well. I'm sure you guys would agree they look amazing. Um, he has given me some great advice. So a lot of fun working with him. Thank you guys for your support. Hopefully, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a good day, and I will speak to you soon.